welcome to the 2018 BMW Basic Off-Road Training. This weekend we have seen one of the highest number of attendees taking part in this event. Organized by Mohamed Latifi, brand manager at AGMC BMW, and once again with Michael and Robert from Germany, who have now become regular visitors to the United Arab Emirates and are considered very much part of the GS family community here in the Middle East. Let's get on with the show and over to Michael and Robert. For today, we'll start to set up the bikes initially. Uh, so the first thing we have to do, we have to lower the tire pressure. We will go down to 1.5 bar. Uh, we will also talk later about why we do that, but this we will do in the separate groups. So we have a little bit more um, time to explain, uh, a little bit more time for questions. You will get assistance from our uh, mechanics and also from us. And the next thing is we want to do is we want to move the handlebar a little bit more up and forward. So um, bring your bike on the center stand. So yeah. you can stand on your bike. You should not be in the position like this on the bike in a more upright, comfortable yeah. position. Yeah. So we will always be around. We will assist you if you're not sure if it's, if it's too much forward or if it's not enough. Yeah? We will help you. If you have any questions, if you have any requests, if you have anything you, you have heard about, is it true or is it not true? If you're interested in some motor, motorcycle or technical things, uh, we have good contacts to Munich, to the uh, development department, so we have a good insight. Start slowly. Uh, there's no rush. We have two days time and we, we want to build up confidence from the bottom. Okay, as we said, we, we will split up in two groups. Robbie. You're taking this side and I take the other side. Please take your gear, take your helmet, join the group and we start riding for a warm up. Yeah, it's all. I'm happy to be here again. Always great time to come to Dubai for the training. So uh, we started with the basic training, was looking forward because also uh, lots of new participants were here. It's always nice to see how the community is increasing. Okay, so we carry on riding. In the beginning we always start to develop uh, Good technique for the standing position on the bike. We have some nice exercises for this. Yeah, it's not boring. We always try to ride and develop better skills while riding. The impression everybody was happy, was improving the riding skills, and at the end, the most important thing is that people have fun and really enjoying. That's what we're here for, and that's why we all riding GS or off-road bikes. And move only the bike underneath you. We start with the first basic part. So we want to talk a little bit about the position on the bike. The basic training was a big success again. We had uh, the biggest group ever. And uh, even on the waiting list, we had still a big amount of people waiting to get placed in the basic training. Well, if I stand up, uh, I can balance myself on the foot pack. So I do not need to, to hold the handlebar. I can look. And if there's a ditch, so I have a better overview. I'm not looking like this inside of the cockpit or in front of the tire because I want to see what's coming up next. Okay, jump on your bikes and let's try the slalom. Elbows a little bit up. Yes, that's nice. Look ahead. Okay, elbows a little bit up and all the shoulders parallel to the handlebars. Good, elbows up a little bit. And always move parallel to the handlebars. Way to the outside. Yes. Good. Yeah, very nice. Very good. Two fingers on the clutch.
Not my body. Connected, open. Yeah. Now I stay open with my legs because I have to do cornering all the time. Robert demonstrates the difference in riding off-road. Closing the legs or hugging the petrol tank with your knees makes turning wider and more difficult. However, open the legs as wide as possible, the rider can have greater degree of control, allowing the motorcycle to move freely in rough terrain. At every given opportunity, Robert and Michael take the riders out for a free ride. This is so the riders can put to practice what they've been learning all weekend. They are constantly reminded about body positioning, braking, turning and looking. you have the bike in a balanced position like this yeah so you do not need much force to hold the bike yeah you see you can hold it with one finger yeah? if it's in balance yeah? and this is what we are trying to use what we are trying to do when we are in the off-road we are trying to balance the bike we keep the weight pushing on the wheels and not sideways so it's also good exercise for you at home you can balance the bike because then you get the feeling uh, of how much movement is possible without getting too much sideboard yeah? so you just can hold the bike very easily if you go too much to the side uh, like this no way to hold it but if you drop the bike it can happen we have the protection system, uh, so we have the protectors here, so normally not much happens. If the bike is on the ground, how can we pick it up? The first possibility is you use the handlebar. Therefore I go to the lower end, and I put it on the steering lock, I go very close over the handlebar. Not like that, because if I push here, I can slip my discs in the back. Yeah? So it's always better to lift like this or not like this. Yeah? So I go very close. I do it out of the knees. And the bike is up again. The second way we heard about is the with the reverse. For this one, I go to the rear. Now I have to put the handlebar on the other side, so inside. I look for good hold on the handlebar here and then I push out of my legs. So I have no, don't need much power in the arms. I just need a little bit power in the legs. This one is easier. Also for, for ladies, sometimes this one is the easiest way to lift it because you only use your legs and not the arms. In this situation you see I already put out the side stand because the big risk of this technique is doing too much and then oh! Uh, so it's on the other side. Uh. I recommend you to integrate all these exercises in your daily motorbike life. Uh. Always try when you do sharp turns slow turns, remember the technique, or when you do a long distance trip, yeah, you feel some pain, stand up, relax a bit, remember all the things, all the weight in the footrest, relax on the handlebar, play around a bit, and in this way you really hone your skills.
now we do a braking exercise. It's very important also for on-road, off-road uh, to stop the vehicle in the shortest possible distance. Before the practical exercise, Michael spoke in details on the safety and danger of braking both on-road and off-road. What we want to do now is we want to switch off the ABS systems so you can lock the wheels, no ABS anymore. Be careful, uh, because then if you push too hard, you lock it. The riders have already carried out the rear and front braking exercise and now the combination of the two. And what we do now is we now combine the two exercises. We accelerate again after my signal. You close the shuttle, pull the clutch, hit the rear brake hard and keep it locked. Then you concentrate on the front brake like you did now. Tiger position, line of vision forward, brakes together. But the rear brake is only locking. So no controlling because you need all the concentration for the front brake. So fast.